The elusive Rogers Covington era 14 by 14 floor tom. What makes it so sought after? What makes it so desirable? What makes it demand such price points? I don't have the answers, but I have some theories. And this goes for all 14 by 14 floor toms of all the American brands of the era. But we're discussing Rogers, so I'll stay with the brand I'm most well versed in. For a long time, these drums were demanding a thousand dollar price tag. This has greatly increased recently. Just a couple months ago, I witnessed a Rogers 14x14 floor tom in sparkling red pearl sell for $2,400 and a couple cents in the same range. So what is it that makes these drums enter the realm and mystique of the 14x18 bass drum? My opinion is as follows. First, there simply weren't as many made so supply and demand becomes a factor. But if rarity is driving the price and desire, then what about the far more rare 16x14 floor tom? Is it because many outside of collectors simply don't know that they exist, keeping the 14x14 in more desired territory? Quite possibly. 14x18, 8x12, and 14x14 were the desired sizes of trio and quartet players of the 1960s. It is said that the popularity of these sizes started because they were easily transportable, fitting in the trunk of cabs, etc, etc. Guys like Elvin Jones were known to play a 12 by 16 bass drum for those reasons. The players using these sizes were highly influential to the consumer and player. A lot of those guys were playing Gretsch drums, and it sure seems to me that Gretsch manufactured quite a bit more 14 by 14 floor toms than Rogers. I have no statistical evidence of this, but it sure seems that way to someone like myself who's been collecting, buying, selling, and restoring since the 1980s. Gretsch, Ludwig, and Slingerland 14x14 drums all pull top dollar, but I've never seen an average finish 14x14 sell for $2,400 outside of Rogers. My personal opinion on the size popularity is that they just sound superior and are more versatile. They tune up beautifully for bebop, sit comfortably in the mid-range for big band situations, and love to be tuned low and thuddy for a rock outfit. I suspect the price will come back to earth at some point, but I don't see it ever getting below $1,000 or slightly more for a drum in well-preserved condition. They're simply too difficult to find and those who have them hold on to them for dear life. And rightfully so, they're incredible drums and make your outfit attract attention of collectors, enthusiasts, and players alike. I only have three, two holiday models and a tower, each displaying the different leg and bracket options offered by Rogers. Knobby with hex legs, stay tight brackets with straight and flared legs. Hold on to your Rogers Covington era 14x14 floor toms, for they are among the most coveted pieces in this company's history.